Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife Montana and these are our cats that you may or may not They're all be able hanging to see. out today. I'm sure they'll all appear at one point or another. Yeah. Um, and today we're going to be reacting to season two, episode 24 of Code Geass, turn 24, The Grip of Damocles. All right. It looks like, uh, I mean, the Damocles is like that doomsday device that they're all going after that has Schneisel and uh, Nunnally within it. Yeah. And Nunnally just launched a Flea at their troops. And uh, I think Suzaku is starting to pinpoint and go towards where Schneisel is. What are your thoughts before we jump into this episode? The ultimate chess match is happening. Not to mention the volcano. Yeah, I mean... There's just so much going on and this plan has been in the works for so long, but that I keep going back to the Nunnally thing because that just... He said he's ready to kill her. Like, there's no way. Like, the... I mean, he did just... He disintegrated his mom from existence. That was the whole start to this journey. You know, like, I think that moment where he says, all I care about is tomorrow is him ensuring that the world continues. He's just a completely different person. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Zero's Requiem. You think he's just going to try to take over the world and then end himself or make himself thing everybody hates kind of like Aaron yeah wow well uh <laughs> not much else to say I'm excited no. to see what's about to happen I'm this. so excited to see just like how they end up tying up all of the loose ends yeah because there are so many yeah we're in the penultimate episode of this I series I was waiting to see how long <laughs> it was gonna be till you said penultimate oh it was coming I didn't oh I know it. Um, but uh, I'm I'm just so excited to see how the series ends, considering everybody keeps being like, oh my god, the ending's so good, the ending's so good, the ending's yes. so good. So we are, this episode of The Next Thrilled. Away, um, and if you've been enjoying the series, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below for another episode coming next Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you can't wait and want to see the finale of Code Geass right now, it's all posted to Patreon in its extended full-length form, along with episodes of our series that will be coming after Code Geass, which is Chainsaw Man. Very excited to be doing the series. It's very short. Right now, I think we have about four episodes on Patreon. So we're already like, uh, there's only 40%. eight episodes left. Uh, so uh, very excited to start that series. And then after that, it's kind of open-ended. So comment down below if you, what you want to watch next, whether it's Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Mob Psycho, Vinland Saga. There's a few in the running, but uh, just let us know below. We could not be more excited to keep on going through these anime but before we do that we get to finish this one uh are we excited for episode 24 of season two of code geass absolutely all right let's get it let's go Dunderheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Okay, are you sure you want to go through with this? Yeah, I have a duty to get everyone to safety, but... No, I'm just sorry I did this to you. Everyone in a battlefield controlled by Flayus. Another Flayus. So wait, yeah, and they, they 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 essentially got shot out of the sky by that volcano. Yeah. Another flayer strike. Dang, that's killing so many of them. Holy Holy shit. Totally obliterated the operation. I'm not going to stop it. Stay <laughs> just out of the Damocles range. The Avalon falls I'm back not is going to All stop units, it. Attack in waves and force the Damocles. Oh, what did he say? The Avalon falls back as ordered. All units, attack in waves and force the Damocles to continue launching Flayas. How easily. It's so easy. For me, too. Not only. We're ready to fire the next one. <gasps> oh, my God. And she keeps hitting the button? Oh, good lord. That's crazy. It renders tactics useless. If I can get within a tight range, they won't be able to use it! A blaze luminous! But it's so immense that Damocles was specially designed and built to achieve absolute air superiority. Whoa. Wow. It has a whole a shielding altitude, system. We'll lose our only chance against it. Suzaku, can you break through those defenses? I'm trying, but their power output is in a different leaf than mine. Oh I no. I think they can fire a player now. And in turn, okay. Ah, it's a stalemate. Kinda. I mean, that's the whole thing about mutually assured destruction. Schneisen, are you trying to kill the captives too? 
Now that the Black Knights have been beaten... We aren't beaten yet. yet! Very well, then. I'll wait ten minutes. Ten minutes? Aren't you talking to me because you're already in position to counterattack? All right, fine. Ten minutes. Dang. It's a hefty loan, sir, considering we need ten minutes to prep the next shot. It saves yeah. me from dealing with them after the battle. <laughs> Are you saying you don't need the Black Knights anymore? For what purpose would a collective military strength possibly serve? Hey, Revel. So What's he's gonna get rid of them too? It's amazing. I mean, when you think about it, our student council members are out fighting the whole world. What, is that sarcasm? Because I wasn't able to protect Nina, correct? Don't beat yourself up. You did your very best. Yeah, what's she up to? She was like decoding some nuclear thing. Yeah. From behind? <gasps> Whoa. The Black Knights! Oh. I'll defeat you myself, I swear! Sneaking from behind Shin Ke! I won't let the Avalon be shut down! And he was such a good, like, tactician. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could actually pose a big threat, too. Right. Shin Ke, you'll fail! Justice weighs on my side! He's using his wow. Lib Gyas as a weapon now. That's sick. That's crazy. Finally, has a purpose he wants to live for. Yeah. It's over. The Zero Requiem. What the? <laughs> oh. On your country in order to climb in rank so here's the ugly way it ends what is this you fight for the one thing i want that i'll fight for is a future your future is worth yeah yeah the tomorrow thing is mm -hmm. a big deal i failed whoa general he beat him wow i mean that okay so he's not dead but his his like, thing is, his oh, is my down. favorite animation return we got to go give it some love the poll uh oh. Lovely. They've done better than I expected. Primary float system damaged. Damage level 75%. It's failed. The Avalon is falling. He doesn't seem bothered, though. Hmm. Schneisel. Oh, it's real. Yeah. Hold it, hold it, hold it! Now to settle things once and for us! He's gonna get one-shotted, yeah. I'm not giving in. I've got pride to you, though! Are you absolutely sure about that? Oh! He ejected, though. Time. Did they get in? We engage them in close combat. We've oh, a yeah. To take over their power and communications, then rescue the hostages. We hear and obey. Because that's Holding who he's really here for. Mm -hmm. Land the ship in the Pacific. He, you he will now mission Apte Alithea. What did he say? Apte? He said we're going to do mission oh, Apte Omnithea or, or something. Pacific. You will now follow mission Apte Alithea. Apte Apte Alithea. Something I related? Yeah. I'm grateful for the resolve you've all shown. Yes, Your Majesty. Should we fire another Flaya now? We Is the cat geost? And should wait for <laughs> no. But it's an excellent opportunity to eliminate the Black Knights. No, I suppose we shouldn't. It's too ambitious. Yes, I understand. He's gonna launch a Flaya on its own for forces to get rid of the Black Knights. Oh boy. It's Princess Euphemia's wish too, wasn't it? Yes. Which is why I have to do it. But for the device to be complete, the environmental data needs to be entered into the final program. You should let me go with you. No, you've done enough for me, Nina. For Zero, Yuffie's murderer. I won't find it in my heart to forgive Zero. Maybe not for the rest of my life, but this is separate from that. I simply had to find my own answer to everything that's happened. That's all there is to it. You're truly amazing. So she created a new device for him? C2, are you alright? Well, that's a switch. Were you really worried about me? <laughs> You're a valued combatant. <laughs> that's why I came to pick that up. Such then, a compliment. You escorting me? You're going out there? Though taking such action could mean you'll have to kill Nonali yourself. I have no choice if she stands in the way of the Zero Requiem. Lelouch, don't you hate wow. me for cheating you out of your own life? <clears throat> By giving you your Gios. I affected your life Ooh. and drastically changed your fate. That doesn't sound like you, the immortal witch. The Gios power you gave me. It only put me on the path that would lead to my destiny and nothing more. Everything that followed was my choice. <laughs> In all my life, I've never met a man like you. C2. Whoa. <laughs> she Colin comes in. <laughs> Goodbye. Lelouch. I'm sincerely glad that you care, Lelouch. He's immortal. Sorry, she's immortal. Go on, hurry. Just make yeah, sure but... you come back. That'll make 
smile, okay? Oh. Yes. <laughs> promise you. It's the only reason she's living right now. I have to succeed no matter what. Enemy nightmares approaching. The Shinkiro is leading them. Lower the blaze luminous away from the flare launch tube immediately. We're going to redirect our aim at the Shinkiro. Lelouch, discarding your life at the end? How unsightly. Realignment complete. Nonally. It ends now. Can you do this? Oh boy. Yes, Brother Schneisel. Blaze luminous lower. Now. <laughs> oh my god. So that's launching right at Lelouch? Yeah. Entering data. What's the device? From moment to moment. If we collide it with a reaction corresponding to that composition, we can prevent it from reaching criticality. However, you need to input the local environment data just prior to detonation. Oh. What is the environmental data thing? I think it's essentially you have to put in everything about what's happening in the current moment around it in order for this device to be able to specifically pinpoint the Flea and disable it, gotcha. I think. Gotcha. If I had to guess. Even if you complete the program, you'll only have 0 0.04 seconds to execute. That doesn't seem like there's a lot of wiggle room. Yeah. Peace will come. Suzaku! Oh, anti flare That animation was miss. really yeah. cool. No. Yo. Oh my god, what? Oh. It like that... inverted it in a way, I guess. Okay. Did it like cancel it out? Yeah. So it worked. It worked? It worked. They okay. In 19 seconds and then in 0.04 seconds? Dang. I have made a toy like that. He's such a weirdo. Ready? Hi, Ray. Oh, and he's holding it open. All right. Oh. They've gotten through the blaze? They have indeed. All right, this is good. good oh old boy! Chest oh god, they're gonna have to kill Nunnally. That's crazy that that's, that's happening. That's crazy that that's like where we ended up. I must find the Damocles key. Oh, and she's blind. Oh, oh no, Anne can't walk. So this is tragic. Oh boy. Having her be separate from the Damocles key when. Lelouch finds her is crazy because then she's like not actually doing damage in the moment. Yeah. Like it would have been. She only lost seven nukes in the 10 minutes it, prior. Yes, but from like a. We're not talking about like logically speaking, but it's a lot. Like it's, it would be in cold blood, is what you're saying. Yes, I would imagine that it's easier to do that to someone while they're actively posing a threat. Yeah, then. So not in cold blood. Right. Is that what that means? Cold, yeah, cold blood means you're not in the middle of a fight. Like if I found if oh if, interesting, if I went okay. to go fight somebody, and, sorry, if I went to go find somebody and they were cowering in a corner and then you just shot them, that's in cold blood. But if you came over and they start punching you and then you shot them, it's not in cold blood. Oh, interesting. Okay, I thought that your blood word meant hot. You're not like <laughs> oh, hot. there we you're go. Like that makes <laughs> that not, clears you know it up. Do you get what, do you get what I mean? Um, I didn't think hot blood meant fighting. It, that's what that. Means. Cool. All right. Good to know. Delta block communications cut. Load control room six has been destroyed. Prince Schneisel. My kudos, Lelouch. I salute you for forcing me to implement my final plan. Huh? <laughs> You're really going to do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Turn the Damocles into a prison for Lelouch and the others. Oh. What? Yeah, help. And just keep After them in the there. And the ship will obliterate the Damocles. Oh. Flare. What a fine coffin for. Oh. Him. Okay. If Damocles reaches satellite orbit, even the Lancelot would be useless against it. To win, we need to stop Schneisel. I'm analyzing the internal structure. I have to break the password. What? Whoa. Gino, Lelouch, I refuse to accept you and your Britannia. I'll destroy you here and now. How is it so powerful? Oh no. The booster. Oh boy. Gino. Suzaku, Lelouch, go on ahead. There's an enemy to be defeated and someone to be rescued. It's all up to you now. Go, right? Coward! I'm sorry, that was a little funny how quickly Lelouch just got knocked down. 
Better run. You insist on fighting me, Gino? Yes, I will do whatever it takes to protect something I love. And I'm fighting for the same reason! Is Schneisel on the control and command floor? Or else could he be? Seventh sequence. Play a detonation point set to within the Damocles. Damocles and the Flayers are simply machines in the end. We can always rebuild them. But sir, you know the Totemo Agency doesn't have the resources. Yes, but Lelouch is now the enemy of the world. If it turns out that our system has destroyed him, there will be plenty of organizations happy to build Flayers for us. Isn't that basically terrorism? Besides, there's Princess Nanali's opinion to consider also. Why care? He doesn't care about that. Is he saving Nanali? <laughs> what do you mean? You're abandoning her? World yeah. peace or a single life. It's sad oh. to say, but one cannot be compared with the other. Oh my wow. god. His justification is wild. Yeah. Really clean. I can see you win. Don't care, cause to me it doesn't matter. Bye now. Oh. Yep, there she goes. Winning or losing, I never would have thought that those feelings were still inside me, alive and well. Huh. Okay. She's starting to feel more human. I have to stop Lelouch, and it's all up to me to do it. If only I could. <gasps> Standing by to launch. Run Wait, did she just look at the key? No I don't know. Kind of looked like it. It did look like it. She did, and they that... didn't show us her face. Did she open her eyes? No, she didn't. No way. No way. I've been waiting for you, Schneisel. I see. I suppose this means that you have me in checkmate. <laughs> yes. It looks like it. He asked the whole crew. Please tell me. Wow. I'm dying to know. Just how did you discover <laughs> I bet you what are. my plan was? You're mistaken. What I anticipated was the pattern of your own nature. My nature? You don't have the desire to win. You remember that chess match at the Vermilion Forbidden City and the coup d'etat of the Black Knights. You only play games you can't lose. So, you predicted that I would abandon the Democles? Schneisel. Okay. This time I'm going to make sure that you lose. Meaning... I'll be put to death. Oh. Hong Gu, move from Corridor 3 to take the bridge. You have been representatives. <laughs> Shin Kei! Your Majesty, you're all right. Master Shin Kei, we are now on your side. What? You all betrayed Lelouch then? Huh? And for a valid reason, he threatened us. However, it's now part of the plan. Lelouch is no longer here. At the very least, we believe that the others think dictatorship is wrong and will never support it. Very well then. He's making himself the enemy. It's it's yeah. it. Yeah. My brother didn't kill me. I'm still here after what? all is said and done. In a more normal world, he'd be an excellent ruler. He isn't driven by the ambition um. that egoists have. I was a fool not to have seen that. Wouldn't you agree? Princess, I... For night. Mm -hmm. You're never going to stop calling me that, are you? She's not a princess anymore, I guess, because he took over Britannia. I have a question. Were you intending to use the Damocles as a tool to dominate the world? I wasn't. I only wanted to give everyone what they wanted. To bring peace to civilization. Then you actually imagined you could maintain the world in a perpetual state of now. But life without change might be called anything except life. It's nothing more than experience. But link those together and they become knowledge, right? Schneisel, you truly are superior. So superior, you can't even see it. Yes. Emperor Charles sought the past. You seek the present. But I seek the future. But the future right. might prove to be worse than the present. Is now, he going to use these players? Be better, because no matter how long it takes, people will continue no. to seek out happiness. You're really too emotional about this. Hope and dreams are merely names for aimless fiction. 
You're restricted, since you belong to the symbol known as a royal family, which looks down on the world. I've seen it over and over. The people who struggle against sadness. Those who seek the future. How they all carry on wishing for happiness. Human nature is why I chose Gios and to wear a mask. You're contradicting yourself. You, who continually deny the will of others, are standing here before us affirming the will of humanity. That's enough. Kill me now and be done with it. But a flayer will still decimate you. We will gladly give our lives to bring peace to the world. And that's how I came to my decision. That I'd give you the gift of the words. You shall serve Zero. Oh. You never intended to kill me at all. You wanted oh. to. No. No way. Highness, damn it. Why didn't I see it coming? Oh my god. He anticipated Schneisel's thoughts and recorded the pre recording the again. He just. To do what Holy shit. Oh my god. Schneisel. That's his go to. To let yourself be killed is exactly what has led you to be defeated. Wow. This story's finished. You never should have come this far. You shouldn't even be alive, you bastard. Did Schneisel kill him? What right have you to deny my existence? You have none. Oh. Prince Schneisel. What right do you have to deny my existence? You have you none have after none. you kill someone is... That's cr crazy. That's crazy. Prince Schneisel. A man would sacrifice his own life without any hesitation. Such is the power of Gios. Zero. At least finish me with your Gios too. Sorry, Detard. <laughs> just not worth wasting my Gios on. Oh. Wait, why did he now want to be kiosked? I think he just, he just always wanted the spectacle and the show and the, maybe just to figure it out. Oh, okay. Maybe to take him out of the misery just or something. He just didn't want to be aware while he was dying. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Now, Schneisel, you can begin That's by canceling self-destruct for the Damocles. Understood. However, Nanali is the one who has the Flaya control switch. <laughs> it doesn't matter how strong you made your machine. You won't beat me. We'll see about that. <laughs> Whoa. The result. Holy shit. Got him. No, I've done what I came to do here. Oh. He damaged the Blaze Luminous system? Now, Colin! Thanks, Gino! Oh. Suzaku, I've come to end it. Our continually crossing paths. I don't know how I didn't see it before. Suzaku is Zeke. We hate him the entire series because he's working for the other side. At the very end, our main character ends up using him in his final plan. That's such a good point. Yeah. Wow. And they're like brothers. Yeah. Oh boy. It's you, isn't it, big brother? Okay, yes. so she got that. The reason you're here must be this. Did you come for the Damocles key? Yes. It's dangerous. Dangerous to you. I also just realized he can never Gias Nunnally because she doesn't have her eyes open. Yeah. That's something I'd never considered. Oh, yeah. Key? Yes. It's dangerous. Dangerous to you. Then that's why. Huh. Why? I won't close my eyes to things any longer. <gasps> oh! She's gonna open her eyes. <gasps> Holy shit. She's broken father's gios. With her own will? What? Wow. Will you use your gios on me as well? What? You called it! <laughs> You called it! Thank you. Round of applause for Monty. You did it. How do you feel? I mean, I got it like two seconds before it was revealed, so it's You not... got it like two scenes before it was revealed. Okay, like, but you know what I mean. No, no, you no, know, <laughs> give yourself credit. That was a great prediction, but that's where we're left wow. for this episode. She broke the Gios with her own will, and uh, now Lelouch is approaching her for the key, and we're reaching the final episode up next. What are your thoughts before we jump into our discussion? So since when has breaking Gios with pure willpower been a thing? I... It hasn't really been. Right? Maybe it's because he's gone from existence that makes it easier. Um, oh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, yeah, but wow. So he, Lelouch is all about the future. He thinks Schneisel's about the present and... Uh, well, Schneisel's about the future now. Yeah, yeah. 
he got moved on to that side. Yup. Um, I wonder if he's gonna eventually make Schnizel like the head or something. Probably not. He's pretty terrible. I mean, like they did emphasize that he's not in it for himself. He's not egoist, but he was gonna kill two billion people, so not the greatest. But well, yeah. But at this point, who he was as an individual is not relevant because he's completely under Lelouch's I'm control. I mean, if Lelouch were to die, then oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, no, then that would be gotcha. But uh. Oh, cool. Uh, and if you enjoyed that episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for the finale coming next Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, if you can't wait and want to see that right now, in addition to our next series, Chainsaw Man, these episodes are all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, question one. Eric C. asks, what do you make of Lelouch's word choice when he used his gias on Schneisel? You shall serve zero. In the past, he used it to make people obey him, so why not now? What purpose could such an order serve in the future? Does this give you any more theories as to what the Zero Requiem is? Yeah, I think the specification there was that if Lelouch dies, Schneisel will continue to like facilitate Zero's ideas, like Zero as a figurehead. Like he'll head. be the new mask of Zero. Like he'll yeah. wear the mask of Zero, yeah, essentially. Yeah, exactly. I totally see that too. I was going to say it in the moment, but I, I didn't want to like, it was a pretty big moment. But mm. when I heard you shall obey Zero, my first thought was anybody can be Zero technically, or like it, it's more of a title than like what, who he is. So potentially exactly. it's a setup for if Lelouch isn't there, some sort of, if Suzaku puts on the mask and is like, I am Zero, like it, he could get commands Schneisel. I don't know. I think it's a... Oh, I was thinking a, a different thing, that Schneisel could take over as ruler for Lelouch if he died and everyone would serve him. That could... He has been saying, you shall obey me to most people. He said to Zero for Schneisel. But it wasn't... So my thought would be more he would be a figurehead and somebody else would be Zero feeding him. Let's go to our second question. Oh, and in terms of the Zero Requiem, again... Lelouch is, not, is going to die. He's going to die. Slash not be a part of this. Yeah. He, it's also emphasized by the fact that all the hostages were let go and they were like, Lelouch threatened us when they literally called him Majesty right before he left. Yeah. Like, it's part of his plan to make everybody d hate him so that when he goes away, something lives on that he's sort of constructed. And the thing I find interesting is either A, he's he has reversed the um, detonation of the Damocles, but I want, and I'm sure that's just to preserve him because that would kill everybody in there. But mm -hmm. I do wonder if like he'll somehow repurpose the Flea. That's, I, yeah. I don't think he will, but I wonder. Uh, question two, Kingpin asks, what are your thoughts on how Lelouch defeated and outsmarted Schneisel? So smart. I mean, that was so brilliant because I feel like the idea of like being willing to die for something is always viewed in a positive light or like in the sense that that's the most committed to a cause that you can possibly be so then to see that be like manipulated and flipped into a weakness that was really interesting and just shows wait what what being flipped into weakness i missed up so the fact that Schneisel was willing to die for what he believed in. That concept, like believing in something so strongly that you're willing to die for it, that's admirable. Regardless but, yeah. of like, it, you know, that's just like the ultimate commitment to a cause. So then for that to be turned into a weakness in a way that that cause was halted is so interesting and just shows what a complete understanding Zero has of the way Schneisel thinks. Yeah, and I also, it also fascinates me because it shows that like he's seeing a usage for Schneisel. Like he's like, you aren't in this for yourself. You are in it for world peace. You just have a really bad method. So you're going to serve my method, but, but combine that with your lack of ego and then yeah. that'll work better. Like I, it's, and also the, the, in terms of how he outsmarted him, like knowing that he was going to flee the Damocles because he would rather like not play the game than lose the game. Yeah. Um, that was really smart. But also the fact that he used the pre-recording method again, like oh he did on God. Mao. Like I saw that and I was like, could be what he's doing. Yeah. Um, very cool to see him use that again. And uh, yeah, yet another uh, zero slash Lelouch miracle in that way. Uh, let's go to our final question. Final question. Atticus Omenson asks, what do you make of C2 deciding she finally wants to start living again? That, okay, that was so, like, that stunned me in my tracks. 
I'm not walking, so there aren't you. Never mind. Um, it's a saying. So. It's a saying. I know, Kenny. Thank you. Technically, for, for I'm not thank walking, you for so explaining. Don't have tracks. <laughs> You're such a dick. The idea of collecting experiences versus actually living. That's just like that's so well put. So, like, for context, you know this already, obviously, but um, I was raised in a very, like, you're building your college application from the time you're eight or nine. Which is... Um, yeah. So, my entire, like, conscious childhood was like, should I do that? Would that look good on a resume? Should I do that? Will that look good on a college application? Okay, I need to take a foreign language. I need to be president of whatever I need to be in multiple science, like just the idea of doing things for the sake of the accumulation, like how they, exactly, exactly. Like rather than just doing things because you want to do them, like the idea of just living. Um, Like she was excited even to lose because it meant that she was doing something rather than just having it wash over her. And that's why I was so thrilled when I fell off at my horseback competition. Yeah. (laughs) Well, very I, I i don't even want to add much i think that's such a big thing is like is her starting to see her like enjoy living like that's the whole reason that i think she didn't get erased when the lucia re- erased the idea of like the past being perpetual mm-hmm. like i think that marian and the emperor went away but c2 didn't because he brought her back to the present and beyond that to the future because she wants to live for that yeah like i think it, in the end it's all about hope and living on um which i think is, is what zero is trying to instill in everything so it's cool that c2 is being affected yeah definitely yeah. and that is where we're left for the penultimate episode of code geass are we excited for the finale of code geass the ultimate the ultimate finale of Code. The ultimate episode. No, the ultimate finale. I'm, it feels cooler. Well, the okay. I know we, what you're saying. <laughs> I know. The penultimate finale would be what you would say on the second. Okay. No, there was a finale in season one, so you could say the Where's ultimate finale. Where's the finale of season you one? You cannot be doing that with how you're talking right now. I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. You didn't have to make a voice. You're just doing it. But, uh, yeah, all right. Anyway, uh, are we excited for the finale of Code Geass? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.